Hey filmmakers, how you doing? This is John Fuentes. Welcome back to Big Films, the home of action-packed blockbuster filmmaking. Today we're going to discuss how you used our VFX files from the blockbuster starter pack in Final Cut. We're going to drag and drop it right into your scene. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, welcome to Big Films Tutorial here in Final Cut and we have a fun one today so we want to jump right into this right so as you can see we have Final Cut open and as I scrub through my timeline you might recognize some of these clips from my promo video the blockbuster starter pack uh, highlighting the Thor scene with the lightning and thunders crashing down from the sky and some people ask hey can you show us how you built that scene in Final Cut so here we are first I'll introduce you to our incredible amazing method actor Special K clearly we didn't have much of a budget here so we, when we put out the casting call special case said hey if it's free it's me so <laughs> he got the job and as he's using the statue of liberty as motivation for his uh, character you can see he is keeping it nice and tight there and like the statue of liberty he'll welcome us into a great tutorial so let's jump to the top of the scene here what's happening in this scene is our hero is thrusting the hammer up to the sky where he's reaching the apex and is commanding the lightning and thunder to come down crash on him from the sky so we want to place our cursor right where the apex of the hammer is at and it's sort of like boom that's where that lightning will come through so our first shot here uh effects we're going to use here is drag and drop it right into that position there and we'll sort of trim this down nice and easy and here we have our effect coming in from right to left now it already is is looking poppy right because you have the electric blue everything is jumping off but in terms what i have a problem with this here is the screen direction right here right so you want to pay close attention to this tip right here in screen direction is how the eyes is moving in through the scene where you know and coming in from right to left is sort of awkward and it's sort of crushing the depth of feel here right and everything is happening over here and it's all empty over here so what you want to do is sort of rotate this around and one way you can do that is just highlight your vfx file you can see here in this little drop down menu you have transform button click on that and you can take this little swiggly button and rotate it around just like that or you can also come into your effects control panel you can see here you have a rotation tool here you can go rotate it like that as well all right so let's kind of get this into position you know we want to scale it up a bit drag it over like that this easy and we can scale here like that and get everything into position and it's nice and tight it's good so now as i kind of come back and kind of boom the lightning is coming down as you can see coming from left to right has a more a cinematic appeal it's more immersive sort of bringing us through the shot itself bringing us through the scene and so think about your audience when you're you know editing your effects into your scene and how they're experiencing it and how their eyes are seeing it as well the way you did and how wild you were when you watched our video so the next thing you want to do here is look at our lightning effect here right it has this really awesome electric blue um glow going on here and we want to like have it blend into our scene a little bit more organically and one way you can change that is in our blend modes here so you can see it's set to normal view so in your effects control panel we have our blend mode and you're watching it in the normal view so if you drop down the menu here and go to screen you can see now it changes it into um it blends into the screen uh the scene a little bit more organically which is pretty sweet and nice it gives it more of a realistic lightning feel it's coming down that's like bam boom so you don't want to like bring too much attention to your effect by having an effect that doesn't look organic in your scene right you want to kind of have the effect serve your scene so blend modes are great and i'll teach you a little bit more about that as we kind of go along with the tutorial so the next thing we want to do is think about what's happening to the hammer here right so the, the lightning is touching the hammer there's like a reaction going on here so let's kind of take this effect here and like and let's bring it right into there drag and drop boom and as we scroll through we can see this like a reaction boom and we want to um position that right over the hammer there and it's kind of squeeze it down a bit because remember we're a little further away from our our hero here we see it from this bird eye view and we want to scale this down so the effect itself is not overwhelming the scene there right so let's see let's kind of press done see what it's looking like it's like okay that looks good nice so now here is another opportunity to play with the blend mode so, right so we got a smoke effect right and keep in mind a little another tip about blend modes when you're playing with lighting smokes and glows changing the blend mode on that can make those things blend into your scene more 
naturally more organically what you don't want to do is is play with the blend modes on more solid matters like if we have a weapon like a wep uh, a, a bullet gun or a building a car a tank or something like a, a stone or rock you don't want to play with the blend modes on that because then you can kind of um make some of the details and artifacts that create that effect disappear and it kind of kind of kind of dumbs it down a bit so we want to go from here in our blend mode to screen and i can see since it's a smoke effect and it has the glows of lightning in it it really looks nice you kind of see through the effect itself and see our hero right here right so now it's like it's like a reaction happening boom that looks pretty good maybe we could even kind of trim this down a bit kind of give it like something that is happening in a certain order that looks good bam so now that reaction is happening the hammer is heating up we want to add a glow effect so one cool thing about the uh big films effects is in the blockbuster starter pack a lot of effects have a lot of different ways you can use in your film so here we have our laser file from the laser pack in the blockbuster starter pack and um this laser is clear, clearly for a laser gun or it could be for thruster from an engine or a lightsaber or like heat vision and stuff like that it's kind of you could use it for whatever you want you know so sort of like your imagination see how it can fit into your scene and repurpose it to serve your film so in this case here um with the laser we want to kind of trim it down from the front bring it forward like that boom and you have this glow going on here right so here we again like the keyword is glow so first we want to position that right over our hammer maybe even scale it down because you see it's a pretty overwhelming effect here in this particular shot press done and we want to change the blend mode has this orange glow we want to match this sort of the, the the lightning here so we want to change the blend mode from normal to screen and now you can see suddenly it kind of combines and ties everything together so this is pretty much how we build the first part of that um promo video just like that boom we stacking you know combining different types of effects to achieve the the, the vibe and the feel that we want and also playing with some of the blend modes so now let's jump to this scene here so we're in this bird's eye view and now we're more level with him here we have an opportunity to kind of spruce it up even more but the first thing we want to do is be more uh, have our continuity and be consistent right so we want to build this it's the same way we did with the other shot one step at a time so we want to drag this lightning effect right into our shot here looks pretty cool we got to position that here right so we're going to press our transform button we kind of maybe kind of rotate it around kind of have it coming down from a vertical point of view right and which kind of like that a little bit better than from the side because remember in the first shot the lightning is coming down in, in a vertical way so we want to match that here that looks pretty cool the other thing that's happening in this shot here as i scroll through it you can see that special k is standing still holding that pose but the camera itself is moving around and as you can see the lightning drifts off the hammer so we have to keyframe this shot here uh, so the lightning can maintain the illusion that it's staying in contact with the hammer. So let's kind of jump to the top of this um, scene here. Right, so we want to set our keyframe just like that. You can see how it lines up the keyframes kind of highlight here in your first control panel. So now when you're scrolling through the shot here, right about there, this is where you want to bring in your key. Move it over. Move it over. Nice. nice and then you want to also kind of come back through your shot to make sure that it maintains the illusion of contact that looks good that looks good nice and press done and then when you kind of go through it you can see that it's maintaining contact that looks beautiful perfect this is really it doesn't have to be you know so perfect but it actually is quite perfect all right cool so the next thing we want to do here is um change the blend mode of our lightning to match the lightning in our other shot so you can see that our effects is highlighted come to your control panel blend modes are normal go to screen and already that's looking oh man that's just looks even better more realistic it pops really well so now let's bring in our cloud uh, reaction thing, right? It's like kind of the cloud with the lightning in it and everything. So let's uh, bring that in, make sure that's highlighted. And we got to position that. So let's bring it up over the hammer. Maybe uh, kind of scale it down just a tad bit, just a tad bit, you know, since we kind of more level with him and closer to him, it, we can make it bigger than it was in the first scene. And kind of scroll through it and say, oh, that looks pretty good. I can see some of these strands of lightning like that that is really good right so now 
again we have smoke and glows right so we want to change the blend mode of that as well so we want to go from normal to screen and you can see how it already is blending in really nicely so let's see bam that looks that looks pretty tight really nice that was pretty good guys you know and it's just a simple little things like that that makes all the difference okay so the next thing we want to do is what we did before is bring in our laser um glow here and kind of trim it down from the front side bring it up over it looks nice just like that kind of extend it and say Ooh, it's glowing there now clearly we're gonna have to position this here and also just like the lightning we're gonna have to keyframe it but let's kind of like bring it down just slightly bit make him even come up even more we close to him so before we forget we want to change the blend mode and maybe start with the blend mode here because then we can kind of see more of the hammer through it which is be better for us to so go from blend mode from normal to screen and then you can already see how the glow is popping right and then we also want to track that so as we kind of coming through here, I want to bring it back over. Boom, and bring it back over, scrub back through it. Nice, make sure that it's where you want it to be. Nice, press done. And then we can kind of scroll through and it's maintaining, kind of fix that a little bit more right here. Over. Good. Press done. And there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Nice, guys. So, the next thing we want to do here is create. We had uh, completed what we did in the first shot, right? Boom, boom. Now, let's have more fun. Let's continue building this scene out. So, we have our little smoke going on here. And, you know, so it's like the lightning hitting, the hammer's heating up, the smoke is happening. It, so, let's imagine that all of this energy is transmitting through his body. And the smoke is sort of like he's, it's burning around the, the ground here, the earth that where his feet is touching. So, this is another file here from my blast folder where you can take this and drop this over like that. And then kind of screen this down a bit. Awesome. And when you, like that, when you position it here, you press our transform button. We want to position that just like that. Maybe even scale it up a bit and bring it into this position there. Now, as we kind of scrolling through, you can see that the smoke is black, right? And what we want to do again in our blend modes, we can set it to screen. And you can see now it creates this nice, more natural blend. Press done. And when we kind of get to the top of the scene, it's like boom, that looks pretty good. Maybe we can even like uh, move it over just a tad bit. Press done. Let's see here. Boom. That looks pretty sweet. Really nice. So let's continue building this out, guys. Just having fun here, right? So now we have this electric um, file here. And we're going to kind of scroll this down a bit. And you can see here, there's a lot of electricity happening around him, right? Now, what I like about this is sort of like it's wrapping around his body here. So what I want to do is kind of bring it more, maybe even scale it down because. As you can see, is wrapping around his body here, and as Special K is quite slim there. You know, he's, I know he was hungry out there in the field, and uh, so I promise you, we fed him a sandwich after we shot this scene. And I'm gonna sort of make this lightning a little bit more fit of him, right? So as it's coming down and scrolling, that looks good. Just want to position that a bit more, so it's sort of wrapping him. That looks great. We also want to change the blend mode here too. Go from normal to screen, and it looks pretty sweet, right? So now it's like everything is just popping really nice there cool so let's press done and we're ready to continue to add more really awesome effects to this shot here so let's take this guy here what i like about this guy is it has like these awesome three strands of lightning effect coming down but in the middle of it it's sort of like source thing happening here right it's like boom right so let's kind of position that maybe even scale this up a bit a little bit wider let's, let's see what happens here we'll set that to screen as well match the other lightning glows and now we have a lot of chain reaction a lot of event happening here it's pretty really awesome so we're almost done guys so the other thing we want to add here that like he's up in this open field imagine all the lightning coming down the wind is gusting and, and a lot of debris is just kicking up in the ground we can add more um really cool effects to this here and let's go to our destruction uh large scale effect here where you can see that it's like it's just some amber things going on where we can add this to our environment where it's sort of kicking up from the ground and it's creating like 
uh, it's a big event is happening here. As you can see, it's just flying through the sky there, which is pretty nice, right? And then maybe we could just add this one too. You can see all the amber here is different colors and we can use it, drag and drop, S squeeze it down. And that looks pretty good. But now here in this particular one, we can change the uh, screen from um, the blend mode from normal to screen. And it sort of gives it a lighter color. Like it's, it's, it's creating a more organic blend in our scene. So just like that, guys, this is how we build our promo video. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's, it can inspire some ideas for you. And you can see how we just drag and drop, stack them up in, in here in Final Cut. And it's fairly easy, you know, but just using your imagination to create the scene and vibe that you want. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful and stay tuned for the next one. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, like, click on the bell icon so you can be alerted when the next one comes out. Also, when we share the good news of our new VFX packs coming out pretty soon. Remember the three cardinal rules of filmmaking. You are what you write, you are what you shoot, and you are what you edit. So with that said, Go out there and make big films. See you soon.